Chicago sports fans know a thing or two about three-peats, but their beloved Bulls were never able to snag a fourth straight title. Now Dustin Johnson has blown into the Windy City to try and do just that with his mates, the Four Aces. Dustin Johnson had finally captured his first live individual title in Liv's first ever playoff. DJ shout the crowd, he is a champion in Boston. Leading his four aces to their third consecutive team title. There's a dynasty forming, a clean sweep for DJ. But despite their dominance, they were more focused and hungrier than ever. They knew there was a target on their back and teams were gunning for the crown. And after a second place team finish, and Anurban Lahiri losing to DJ in the playoff, no team was more ready than Bryson DeChambeau's Crushers GC. Well, we were we were obviously thrilled to watch Anurban compete. And we wanted to be there to support him, and it, it was a wild scenario because you hit it up there close. Yeah, tight, super tight. Super tight, and then Dust is down, then I watch him in his putt, and I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I think we all just, of us, I think all of us, Joaquin and me also started laughing and I think it was also because just the crowd, the atmosphere, the energy, it was electric. Three P for the four races. So they, they got, they got their uh, turkey. We're gonna hopefully disrupt that this week. We're gonna crush them. No <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> I'm tired of losing. I've been uh, losing for over a year and a half now. I wanna win again. All right, birthday boy. Let's go get him today, man. Let's go get him. Let's get you a birthday present. Top That'd of the leaderboard. Gotta do that. All Bryson wanted for his 29th birthday was his first live win. Yeah! And as he began that yeah! trip, the crowd showed their support. Bryson's birthday wish seemed to be coming true as the Crushers were off to a hot start. I like Bryson for this week. Oh, it may have been Bryson's birthday, but the field came to crash the party. Majestic, they're only three strokes back. Henrik Stenson, who missed out, of course, with vertigo last time out. Birdie at the second for the Majestics. Matthew Wolf now for Eagle at 18. He's got a chance. Yes. The High Flyers are on the podium as it stands in third place. Team Punch would end the day one stroke out of the lead, as Captain Cam Smith was focused on his first live golf title. Cam Smith with a six under par 66. But once again, it was the four races on top, thanks to a scorching start by DJ, finishing at nine under par. I'm not, I'm not getting anything in it, then maybe just right here. I like it right in the back of the throat. DJ to get to nine under par. A masterclass today, Doc. Dustin Johnson in commanding form at the moment. The four races once again leading the way, but don't count out the Aussies. Just solid day. Obviously played really well. Hit a lot of fairways, a lot of greens, hold some putts. And the four races once again leading the way. How annoying how much chatter amongst the other 11 teams are to, to just knock them off. It's frustrating for me, me being my only, my second event. Uh, but these guys probably more so, so hopefully someone can get them this weekend. Windy City sports fans were treated to a gust of great golf on Friday. DJ 63 led the way, but his lead is only three shots over Aussie Cameron Smith and four over Matthew Wolf. Wolf's stellar round carried the high flyers to within four strokes of the lead, and teammates Bernd Wiesberger and Cameron Tringale knew they needed to step it up. Let's go. I feel like we're we got to get on the board for the high flyers today. Yeah. Give give Matt Definitely. and Phil something to chase when they're out there. It's a good incentive. I mean, um, obviously both a couple of shots back from the lead, and you want to do well for yourself. But then again, you always have that the team aspect that comes along with it. Yeah. So 
get two, three really good scores over the next next couple of days. Can chase down those aces. Of course, they've got a target on their back. They've won yeah. three in a row, and everyone else wants a piece of that action. So we'll be playing hard today, next couple of days, try and track them down. But Phil just sent a text to the team. Yeah, I don't get that at all. He said, today's target score is 66. Anyone who shoots that or better gets a bottle of Tour Black Magic from my cellar. It's my favorite wine, 100-pointer. Let's go, High Flyers. Let's go get them today. All right. All right. Hey, bud. Let's go, High Flyers. Yet again, the four aces were the story, as round two was set to begin. But if the competition was concerned, they didn't show it. Yeah, I'm not bothered what they do. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a game plan for today? Deal with the wind. You know, it's uh, obviously blowing quite a bit today. Yeah. Got to hit a lot of fairways so you can control your ball and then pull the right club. Very nervous. You see in our faces, we're very nervous. No, it's going to play. It's golf's most electrifying show, and the world's best are ready to take the stage for day two. DJ started round two in command of the individual competition. But with five teams within five strokes of the team lead, it was anyone's game. Well, there's a lot of leaderboard staring. Every shot counts. Every. Stenson now. Yeah. Oh, it's just short. <laughs> Important one here from Matt Wolf. Oh, geez. Mm. Team Punch retake the lead in the team contest thanks to Matt Jones, who rolls that in. Punch first, four aces second. Meanwhile, Cam Smith was on DJ's heels, steadily chipping away at his lead in the individual race. Cam Smith, one off the lead and their teams rose above all, with a four aces besting punch by one stroke. The team competition is red hot. Four aces, 15 under, punch 14 under. But after shooting nine under in round one, DJ finished one over. And Cam Smith took advantage. What a good putt. Yeah. Yeah. What a putt. From Cameron Smith. Pretty good. It's just a gift. Smith for the two shot lead, and he's got it. 10 under par, heading into the final day for Cam Smith. Yeah, it's great. I mean, that's why we're here. We're here to win golf tournaments, and, you know, to be in contention on another Sunday is fantastic. Um, you know, hopefully I can get one of these things done so sooner rather than later. However, the star of the round was Peter Uline of Smash GC who shot six under on the day, moving from 21st to third in individual competition. Peter, you like that tip now. And carried his team into third place. Play well, hit it well. It was a good solid day. Where the team ended up? See that, T2. Who played good, Kokrak? Yeah. Jason played nice tonight. Team Smash would end round two, one stroke behind second place Punch GC. And with Punch only one stroke behind the four aces for the overall lead, the Aussies enjoyed some much-needed relaxation to recharge for Championship Sunday. Sausage rolls were good. Lamb, lamb chops, was, yeah, lamb was really good. And Leishman lager, that's a food, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's an iron. <laughs> yeah, the favourite, I think, as I look around the table, I think the meat pie has been the fan favourite. It was un unbelievable. Leishman Lager, I, I wish we had a, a good beer that we could sip on tonight, but this will have to do, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Greg was definitely my idol growing up, and I'm pretty definitely sure I could speak for yeah, Wade as well. Yeah, so, absolutely with my hero. I mean, Cam's a little younger than all of us, so I'm sure he still has Greg He's as an idol, idol, but idol. I'd say probably yeah, Greg and Adam, yeah. need to stop the four aces winning. I think three three in a row is enough. There's no reason it can't be us. No.
Today, it's Live Golf's turn to crown a Windy City winner. But Live Golf is about the teams as well. DJ's four aces hold the slight edge, but Kepka's smash are seeking a first podium finishing Live Golf. Let's go. Play well Let's have today. A good day. Good luck. It's good day. Good, 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 good day to have a day. Do your, do your, do your, do your. I'll take care of mine. And... We're all relying upon you. Run the yeah. damn ball. Yeah. Run, run, run the damn ball. Run the damn ball, fellas. Run the damn ball. Let's Hand go. it on. Yeah. Brooks Kepka was ready to smash the competition. But all odds were on Dustin Johnson and Cam Smith. Cam Smith is the reigning Open champion. The world number three will have to hold off Dustin Johnson in second as it stands on I pile on going into day three here. Cam had a two-shot lead over the defending champ, but DJ's four aces were one stroke ahead of Cam's punch GC. Cut Reed gets the putter going. Look good. Look at this. An eagle for Patrick Reed. The champs were not ready to relinquish the crowd, and the field went all in on busting the four aces for Pete. Almost out of nowhere, the fireballs are into third place. Captain Sergio Garcia, they're a shot ahead of the crushers and the high flyers. Phil Mickelson is back, everybody. That's a great moment for Phil Mickelson, and he's tearing it up. Peter Uli, another birdie. He's seven under overall. As the four races lead faded, DJ looked to lift his team and join Cam at the top of the individual leaderboard. I don't have as much as I originally thought. I don't really have a turn until the second half. I mean, I'm still, yeah. Pressure's on, DJ! Oh, there it is. We have joint leaders, Cameron Smith and now Dustin Johnson, both nine under par. That puts a little heat on. Sure. DJ had tied the lead. But Cam Smith still had his butt for birdie. Retake the lead, Cameron Smith. He responds to Dustin Johnson and retakes that one-stroke lead. It's getting looks every hole, mate. Let the looks. Nice putt, mate. Let's get another one. While Cam maintained the lead playing mistake-free golf, it was the team race that provided the drama. This would have the high flyers clear in third place. And no. <laughs> How? <laughs> With the high flyers fading, Cameron Tringali needed to make a clutch birdie putt for any shot at a podium finish. For the high flyers, yes! Phil Mickelson's high flyers are in third place. Smash GC was one stroke behind the four aces with three to play and Chase Kepka stepped up when his team needed it the most. Chase Kepka, this would tie the team lead. On its way, in it goes! He's having a splendid day, and smash on level with the four aces on 23 under par. Punch, who were challenging for first place overnight, they've had a poor day, so they're off the podium at the moment. With his team on the outside looking in, Cam went to another level. Cam Nerves, Smith. not even of steel, of Kevlar or something. <laughs> Great touch. Cam Smith, gents, looks pretty set yeah. for the individual title. Is it going to come down to DJ against Peter Uline for the four races and smash for the team title? Captain Brooks Kepka could only watch and hope that teammate Peter Uline could make up Smash's one-stroke deficit. Peter Uline has to beat Dustin Johnson by a shot in order to get Smash into a playoff. You know, the way it's just right now, DJ's playing too good. He's probably got an eagle one, so, uh, you know, some odds, but it's still, it's still a chance. If you end up in that playoff, who's playing? I don't know yet. We'll figure that out whenever they all get in. DJ knows what he has to do here. He has the ability, but, you know, with pressure, looking at the leaderboard, he knows what this means. Oh, man. DJ's chip all but sealed the win for the four races, though Peter Ulai would push him to the very end. Peter Ulai. This is a lot of money. Well done. 
That's well done. Very well done. DJ. Four aces. Four peats. Having long since locked up the individual title, Cam's 15-foot birdie attempt was all about his punch GC teammates. He makes this his team ties for a podium, and that means some serious bragging rights when they're drinking that Leishman lager later on. Cam oh, the finish. Nine weeks since being crowned Open champion at St. Andrews. Now a live golf winner for the first time right here in Chicago. How many Leishman lagers can you fit into this trophy? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm going to find out, that's for sure. He was aware of that putt for Team Punch. I knew we were one back at third place, and I knew it would have meant a lot to the boys if that putt had gone in. So uh, it was good to get that done for them, for sure. They tied it for the high flyers. He buried the par 3 13th, his last hole for us to, to basically tie. It was a good little day for us to yeah. get a little momentum. Yeah, good plan. Felt amazing. It is time to introduce our Live Golf Invitational Champion here in Chicago. Make some noise for Cam Smith! And for the fourth time in a row, joining Dustin Johnson on stage, please welcome Patrick Reed, Taylor Gooch, Pat Perez, Team 4 Aces! You said four aces, four feet. What's next for the four aces? Right. Pat, you really put it on. Oh, he got off to a great yeah, start. Yeah, he didn't finish. Yeah. Finish yeah. very good today. No. <laughs> no, Jesus. Got off to a fast start and just kind of coasted in. But, uh, we need to keep it going, though. Uh, you know, it's four in a row, but we still got <laughs> two more tournaments that are stroke play, and then we've got the, you know, the big one in Miami. Great job, boys. Now this makes it all worth it. Cam Smith is our champion in Chicago. It's fantastic. I love it. Um, I love the competition out here. I love how the course is set up. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs>